Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays RimWorld. I want to take a little moment to address uh, something that's coming up in the comments. A little bit of unrest. And, and part of being on YouTube is that you get comments that are extremely positive that you really don't deserve for being good at a video game or being entertaining or, you know, what have you. Uh, you get people saying, wow, this is like the best video I've ever seen in my life. Thank you so much for making it. And you go, I don't deserve that, but thank you. You get a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside. But you also, you know, you have to deal with some negative comments. Uh, and, and in particular, people have been suggesting lately that um, I don't read the comments anymore. Which, we I have a really small RimWorld backlog. I, you know, I made a... Uh, oh god, local wild boar. Uh, I made a promise to Master Wayne to keep a small backlog. And uh, I have been reading comments, but maybe I've been doing a bad job of uh, implementing the uh, the wisdom from those comments. So I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about some stuff that's come up recently in the comments that I am aware of. And uh, we'll do an effort to actually take advantage of here. One is... I know turrets are not meant to be disposable. I need a better way to protect these, which is why I was talking about like a line of sandbags or something like that, but I, I opened myself up to the mercy of the comments to tell me uh, what the best way to actually protect turrets so they're not disposable is. Another thing is maybe just giving them more room to shoot, so like busting down this part of the maze and giving them a much wider area to, or a much longer kind of like area to take advantage of. Uh, another one is Insect Jelly is a mood buff. And insect uh, meat is a mood debuff, which is admittedly something that I had not uh, found myself aware of. Doolittle is going to view art. I do want to make sure you're equipped with the charge rifle here first. Just because that we got one of those recently, so I want to make sure you're taking advantage of it. I'm a little sick here. I'm not sick in real life. I was earlier this week, but I'm fine now. Night Owl in daytime. We'll get over it. Tomo's researching. Another common complaint is... Um, not making very much progress, despite the research that's being done and the colony stagnating a little bit. I will admit that that is something that has been happening. You know, there's been a lot of stagnation. The uh, the colony is making forward progress with respect to research, but we're not really implementing that. You know, we're a student for the sake of being a student right now. So I'm going to try to do a better job of actually taking advantage of the um, of the research that we've made. And I think it all comes down to steel, honestly. Steel is used for all of these like semi late game. Um, things that we have uh, unlocked here, like ground penetrating scanners and you know deep drillers and stuff like that, and eventually for our ship as well. Um, but in order to uh, take advantage of that, we need good steel production, or at least not to be wasting, you know, 300 steel per raid uh, because all of our turrets are getting destroyed. So I think that maybe how much steel do we have right now? 206. Let's let's make a proactive decision to fix this. And again, this may prove to be the wrong way in the end, but one thing a lot of people have suggested is deadfall traps in the maze. 70 wood each, very easy to do, and we can always just go back and reset them. So how many deadfall traps can we make with 500 wood if it's 70 each? We can make roughly 7. Um, so we'll just try to get these spread out accordingly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll just put another one there. Okay, so I don't know if this will like this indirectly, in, indirectly, indirectly protects our uh, our turrets because of the fact that the units are getting hurt before they actually come in to the base. You're probably going to sleep. That's fine. Nick is cleaning, and actually, I feel like cleaning's pretty important right now. We should also issue a hauling order here. Just to make sure that's handled. And we rebuilt these walls. Actually, a tip that Michael A.L. Fox gave me is if you build your walls... Like, one thing I've been concerned about... Eclipse isn't that bad. One thing I've been concerned about is the fact that um, a lot of units seem to pathfind their way up here. Which I don't really like. I'd like them all to come down to the kill box. Unfortunately, um, this is not working out for whatever reason. But Michael A.L. Fox told me you can kind of affect AI pathfinding by building the walls thicker. He didn't really tell me that that's how it 100% goes, but he told me that maybe how it goes. Um, and I'll consider taking that tip under advisement. By the way, we also, uh, people have said, don't let your animals go in the freezer because they're shitting in there. That seems to be a fair piece of criticism. It's a poison ship. It's in the same location that our poison ship always ends up being in. This is a good time for a save. So we're going to save real save 130. 131, I guess. Uh, poison ship. Beautiful. Okay. Um, how are we going to handle this poison ship? I think we should do it in a way that is different. I think we should finish this EMP uh, mortar first. Where are you going? Cleaning some blood outside of the base? 
Not my favorite move, but I understand it. If we have enough steel to finish this EMP mortar, I would love this. Is Nick capable of using the EMP mortar? Because if he is, then this nullifies, well not nullifies, but makes up for the fact that he is, dude, you do not need to clean that blood. Are you actually shitting me? Oh right, I made this the home area earlier for some reason. Maybe because there's sandbags there? I can't remember. Um, wait, there's already sandbags there. They're, they're a little further away than I'd like, but apart from that, I'm, I'm stoked. Um, I, if this, if Nick, let me put it this way, Nick's incapable of violence, so if I can get him to actually operate the EMP, uh, mortar, then, theoretically, he can, uh, actually contribute to these raids instead of me accidentally drafting him and then just sending him back to base. Come on, come on, come on. This is it. Our steel production is now at a point where we can make this happen. EMP mortar. Not loaded. It requires artillery shells, right? Do we have to add a bill? No. Um, wait, the EMP mortar can only shoot this close to our base. Min oh, that's minimum range. Minimum range 30. Okay. Um, what do, okay, what do we take Nick here? He's sleeping. How do you man an EMP mortar? Do we just click on it and then right click... The same way you click on, like, grenades? Or the same way you make grenades work? What if we... Okay, let, let me try something. I'm gonna draft Tomo. This is just a test. Man, steel, EMP. Found no unreserved shells for steel EMP mortars. This is fine. I have used all of our shells to craft IEDs. Do we only really have three shells? If that's the case, these IEDs should go. I thought we had ten, but maybe we sold a bunch recently. Um, Tomo is going to consume fine meal. Acceptable. Roman is going to sow the area. We Honestly, we have a bigger problem right now. So, I should have somebody who's... Oh my god. Did you just hear that? One second. I think my my audio device just cut out here. In fact, it may have done so a moment ago, but one sec, one sec. Default. I heard like a crackle and then nothing ever again. Sorry about that, there's probably a cut in this video. Uh, my audio, whatever, some something to do with my audio devices crashed in uh, on my PC. And I had to restart OBS and restart the episode here. But this is uh, the, the save that we were working on. We're disassembling or getting ready to disassemble. Wait, are we... Is this the save we're on? No, we should be on Real Save 132 Crash. Uh, aptly named as a result of the naming convention that even I struggled to, to hold on to. But either way, we're going to deconstruct these IEDs. Try to use the EMP mortar to actually shoot effectively. Oh, this is the right save. Okay. Uh, try to use the EMP mortar to shoot effectively at... Um, at this poison ship. The good thing about a poison ship, at least, it's not urgent. Like, we don't immediately have a concern. Um, I'm gonna go for powered armor next. So we should be able to um, load these artillery shells into our EMP mortar now. And if we draft Nick, Nick should be able to shoot the EMPs. And then we'll just get everybody equipped with... Um, the actual uh, requirements that we have for an explosive ship. Which tends to be... Oh, we have eight artillery shells. Oh well. We're building deadfall traps anyway. These IEDs, let's be honest, hadn't done anything for us. Um, I guess we need to haul artillery shells into the EMP? Or do we need... Let me think about this actually. There might be EMP... Oh my god, ignore that. This is a disaster. There might be EMP artillery shells? Apparently not, though. Let me get the heck out of this. Um, okay. What a disaster. Um, we're still in an eclipse as well. So I just want to wait momentarily. The poison ship continues to spread its, you know, unique brand of justice. Everybody who's, who's awake... Tomo's just going to sleep. Everybody who's awake should get their uh, weapons of choice. Somebody has to take EMP grenades. 
And you know what? Maybe Roman is the right call for EM. Oh, he'll still be unhappy. Ugh. Nick, will Nick ever throw grenades? Like, if I draft him, can I have him throw automatically? It seems like it's against the spirit of the game somewhat. Although explosives have done pretty well, it might be in our best interest to, uh, well, whatever. Be unhappy. See if I give a shit. Um, are you not equipping them? Thank you. Um, even if he's going to be unhappy, I think it's important for our uh, business here. And his mood is actually really good in spite of that. So we're going to wait until everybody's awake, and then we're going to get up to those sandbags. We have units, uh, or we have weapons that can hit from far away now. So if we just have, like, the EMPs land in the right uh, area, and then Roman's throwing EMP grenades, I think we can get out, get out of this poison ship situation without blowing ourselves up, hopefully. That's, that's my hope, anyway. It's easy to forget, you know, I, I've been a little negative this episode, and I don't mean to just be negative for the sake of being negative. Um, but, uh, we, we have been making progress, you know, previous catastrophes are no longer as catastrophic as they used to be. Like, a poison ship used to be, like, insurmountable, and now it's surmountable. Everybody's awake but Tomo, and, and Tomo's a serious part of the, the operation here, I'm not going to dispute that. You're probably going to go to bed, which means that actually... Our time has come. So everybody but Nick is going to come up this way to the poison ship. Nick, on the other hand, is going to man this EMP launcher. No, he's incapable of violence. Alright, I guess I am going to man the EMP launcher and Nick is going to be undrafted. Oh, wait, 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 he can't do it. Because he's drafted, right? No, wait, wait, wait. By the way, making some mistakes here. Please uh, understand. This is my first time ever using an EMP. So I'm trying to figure out the uh, the secrets here. The, the keys to the kingdom. So I'm going to man this launcher. Grabbing this. Putting it in here. Set forced target. Right I mean, right there, I guess, for now. But we don't want to shoot it yet. So I think... It's just spread out. Roman should get, like, right here. Doolittle can be here. Tomo is the big balls of the situation. This is a new era. Real save, 134, new era. Keep in mind, we could get a ton of steel if we handle this properly. So Roman... Fire at the ship. Tomo... Fire at the ship. Doolittle, fire at the ship. Now, I want to see how this goes. Okay, minions have spawned. Roman, fire the centipede. Uh, and then with ourselves down here, where should we hit? I'd like to hit two of the units if possible. Wow, there's actually four centipedes. Um, this seems like roughly the right shot for me. Let's see how this goes. The eclipse is ending. That's actually bad for us because we're more likely to get hit in the... Uh, in the daylight. Uh, you guys, by the way, should not be shooting at the ship anymore. You should be firing at the same mechanoid. Uh, I worry about Roman's safety here. Are you firing? Can fire in 35 seconds. Oh, well, that's that's a bummer. Roman's been hit, but he also hit. Oh, there's the... E Dude! The EMP is the greatest thing on planet Earth. Did you see it just destroy... Now, it takes forever to shoot, but these guys are on lockdown here. They've adapted to the stun, unfortunately. Roman might be in trouble. Yeah, next, you guys are on this duty right here. Oh, he's down too. Okay, now... The centipede. Roman, Roman's in hell. There's nothing much we can do for him when he's on fire. Great place to hide, actually. This could hurt. Roman? If I put you, like, here... Ooh, nice miss. Where can you fire grenades to if I put you here? I'd like, I'd like you to... Wait, we did this before. He can hit here, but that's not really what I'm interested in. Okay, I guess I want him to come back around to, like, here. 
and then throw a grenade into a spot where he can kill the centipede. The other dude is like apparently like perma stunned. Uh, Doolittle, I'm just gonna say you should move right away because this shot's about to come in. Okay, they've moved. They moved the shot, and it's taking a while to watch for targets. So get back behind the sandbag. Roman's time to shine, dude. Is this gonna hit Tomo? Just move, just in case. Ah, it still got him. No, do not put out the fire. To uh, Tomo being on fire is not the end of the world. Not a great situation, but could be worse. Brawler has ranged weapon. No kidding. Uh, that's what's allowed us to survive this long. Come on, the centipede is very close to just being downed, I think. Centipede is out of range. Who? Come on, dude. I know you can't land this shot. But you can land that one. Tomo, why are you putting out the fire, dude? That's too much. Let this place burn. Ah, uh, Doolittle's on fire now. They've adapted to the stun. We gotta hit it. We gotta hit it. Doolittle, get behind cover, you joker. Oh, we're lucky. It is stunned. Is this mortar still going off here? Can fi- I got undrafted Well, oper- No, I'm still operating the turret. I'm just getting another artillery shell. Okay. Oh, the Scyther is awakened! Roman! Did you see? I told him to move. It took him so long to actually start moving, though. Alright, Tomo, you gotta- you gotta come out of here, buddy. The fire is raging. This Scyther's gotta go. It's attacking Ricochet! That's ideal! Okay, he's down. You gotta move over so if we get hit, we don't at least get hit by the same explosion. That's fine. That's fine. Doolittle's on fire. They'll handle it. Please, please. Not on fire anymore. Dude, this centipede does not get downed. It's- oh my freaking god, finally. Alright, I'm not gonna save scum that. Um, suffice it to say, I'm fairly bummed out by the way things went. I'd actually really like you to extinguish this fire, as stupid as it sounds. Because it's free steel for us, so... We're gonna go, uh... Home area... Critical alert, fire. Um, okay, I can be undrafted now. Yeah, we don't we don't need to shoot any more uh, any more EMPs. This thing's very nearly dead. Thank you for your support, Doolittle. Um, shut down. Remove part. Shut down. The other Scyther is already dead. The steel should become accessible. The silver should become accessible. The EMP grenade should become accessible. You're undrafted. Honestly, are you hauling? Removing cloth toque. How about you haul some steel back to the base while we're here? Would I say that went well? No, I wouldn't say it went well. But I don't think it went particularly poorly, even though we only have four colonists left here. Real save, one, three, five, four. Um, I'm not happy about it. Like, I'm not happy that Roman died. Oh no. Tomo's gone berserk because he's urgently hungry. Cows join. Well, you know, for every piece of good news, there's, uh, for every piece of bad news, there's some good news, I guess. Nick, where are you going here, buddy? Cleaning blood. Oh, we should make this no longer a home area. You know, I know everybody wants to see perfect raids, but, uh, or perfect poison ships. That wasn't that bad. Uh, a Luddite rebel. Calls you from nearby. Biologically, she's 69 years old. She was only 69 years old. Um, fuck it. You know what? Offer safety. No, don't offer safety. I'm very sorry, Louie. 
The, the real problem here is that we just got finished with this poison ship, and um, Tomo's gone berserk right now, and he's our best fighter, which is actually horrifying because uh, he could pretty much murder anybody right now. Hopefully, they'll collapse due to exhaustion at some point. Roman was a big chef for us and also a big grower. Doolittle's on growing. Oh, wait, maybe they weren't uh, a grower. Maybe Doolittle was our only grower. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Okay, so we got major breaks. Tomo's Berserk Rage has come to an end. Fantastic news. What happens next? Well, I'm assuming all of our colonists are probably going to want to get a little sleep. That seems very fair to me. Okay. Could have been worse, honestly. For I mean, we had a poison ship with four scythers. I think we handled our EMP relatively well for a first time. And we got a little unlucky that Roman just got shot in the head immediately. Infectious disease... Doolittle has gotten sick from infection. They're in a medical bed. No vitals monitor, but uh, in a medical bed. Someone should be a doctor for them. Tomo's gotten sick from infection. Once we have people wake up, they will be uh, doctors, I think. I mean, relaxing socially is important. But maybe you could be a doctor as well. Just throwing that out there. Meals are actually okay. All you gotta do is live. Minor untreated infection. You're already at 15% immunity. Nick is cleaning. Nick will never do doctoring. Oh, he just cannot. Okay, that's fair. So it's really, it's up to me to be the doctor here. Ooh, Ricochet has died because of blood loss. Probably could have managed that better. This is okay. NL's gonna eat. He's gonna play some chess. He's going to view some art, and then he's going to be the best damn doctor we've ever seen, and we're going to get this colony back on track. Robots are going to do all the killing for us soon. We don't... That's... The, that's the promise for uh, our normal life as well. Why are you cooking? No, 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 no. You, okay, there you go. Feeding fine meal to do little. That's sensible, but... I guess that's because um, Tomo was no longer in the hospital. Minor untreated, 26% infection. He's going to go back to the hospital. We're probably going to cook a meal... And then we will treat Tomo. Tomo is our best killer and our best scholar. He's an extremely important part of our operation here. So we're going to make sure, you know, get some medicine, treat Tomo. We're a good doctor. We're going to cheer them up, keep their mood high. Nick's going to make sure he's clean in the hospital. I really appreciate that. I'm very sorry, Ricochet. You were too pure for this world. And once everybody is, you know, back... Doing relatively well. By the way, Nick, less cleaning, less burning apparel. Right now, I actually need you to make these deadfall traps. Because if we get another raid, life's a bitch and then you, then you die. And that's why we get high. Because you never know when you're going to go. I also feel like you should... Oh, he's just making all the deadfall traps. Good. Um, we do have 209 steel, so I can build this. The EMP mortar's already done. We finished researching a component bench. I want to get a component bench done. I want to build a ground penetrating scanner. And I want to make a... Um, I, I want to start deep drilling to get the resources we're going to need to get off of this fucking rock. Because honestly, that's one of the things that comes up all the time in the comments. Is you're researching all these things and then not taking advantage of it. Let's take advantage of it. But we need the steel to do so first. I think we build one more turret. Get these deadfall traps up and then, you know, see how life looks. So we're going to take a look at our... Um, a major infection with 62% immunity. That's not great. Okay, Nick, Nick's doing the right thing here. Um, but as long as nobody dies, I'm not too concerned. Doolittle is the one sleeping all day. Major, untreated, 76% immunity. Um, is Tomo a doctor as well? He's really like a jack of all trades, huh? Man, Tomo's such a good colonist. I know you're viewing art. You should treat Doolittle. We got the medicine for it. Um, get that done and then, you know, take a little sleep yourself. Really want to make sure nobody dies. It's still an untreated infection. 83% immunity though. 76% immunity. We may have to weather the storm with severe infection here temporarily. Where am I at? Playing chess. Right. Okay, that's right. I like to start every morning in real life by playing a little bit of chess with myself. There you go. What, what do we got here? Good, good. We got a little blockchain of uh, healing going on. Major infection, 95. Okay, extreme infection. 
You got this. You got this. 97. 98. 99. 100. So extreme infection, but developed immunity. Now major. Still a mood debuff, but that's fine. In extreme infection, 96. 97. Go to bed. Go to bed, Tomo. 98. 99. 100. Beautiful. Okay. Nobody's going to die due to infection anymore. Great news. Tomo's going to be up and about. Still a little, you know, infected, but he's going to be um, doing research, living his life, eating meals, hitting them sly for the C notes. Appreciate it. Fair enough. And then this is actually going to be great for the mood in our whole colony because Tomo and uh, Doolittle are going to go sleep with their partners and then they're going to. Oh, wait, but no, Tomo and. No, it is Tomo and Nick and me and Doolittle. Yeah, so this this should be good in the end. Um, Nick is cloud watching. I want to see what he does after that. Cleaning dirt. Important, but really, like, if all these deadfall traps need is work, then we should give them work. We also need to make uh, more artillery shells. Like, one thing that I've learned if we, if we ever do another RimWorld series is that... Uh, I need to get steel production off the ground way faster, and I've probably wasted like 4,000 steel rebuilding turrets, which is, I'm not going to say unacceptable, but it's certainly highly, highly suboptimal. All right, Nick is hauling wood to the deadfall trap. That's, you know, working as intended. Minor break risks. This is pretty fine for mood. Doolittle's a little pissed. What's her problem? Still minor infection, sick, ugly environment. I mean, we've got a lot of hauling orders that need to be taken care of. And the less colonists you have, the more, you know, the more time it's going to take to do this. Uh, we have 209 steel. I think we should focus on getting steel and components quickly, finishing this last turret, and then maybe building a, um, a component bench or a ground penetrating scanner. The component bench is 400 steel, I think, and the ground penetrating scanner is also 400. Um, and I think we'll just use this as our workshop, honestly, just to save us from having to build like a whole new building. So this is all gonna become smoke leaf now. So we do have to keep a little bit of a closer eye on our food, just to make sure it's still working accordingly. Nick is consuming fine meal. By the way, I don't think these deadfall traps are gonna like save this kill box. I just think they're gonna make it slightly better. We also have such easy steel to garner from these right here. Not refrigerated, spoils in less than a day, that's gone. Build orbital trade beacon. It's on the list. <laughs> if we have some good days, it's on the list. All right, Nick. I know you're relaxing socially, but your mood's pretty good. If you could just go build these last two deadfall traps, then all we have to do in the future is reset them. What's going on? Tomo, sleeping. It doesn't say resting, it says sleeping. Sleeping. Is this a new change? I'm researching when I should be making medicine, I think, but the research is fine. However, what's the point in, you know, getting another little bit of academic research done before our base is actually safe? So I think first, what's my construction stat? It's a four, which is actually pretty okay. I think I'm going to take myself off of research temporarily and just build this turret. Again, I want to make sure that... Making sure the turrets are safe could save us a ridiculous amount of steel in the long run. So my my hope here is that this is actually the right decision um, from an economic standpoint, even though it might seem counterintuitive. We did also have the timer go off, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that for now. We also have a lot of slag that still needs to be smelted. Three smelters. Smelting sort of works. It's not Christmas time, but it might be Christmas time by the time we get the fuck off this planet. Dope. Are you hooked up to the grid? I'm going to guess no. Correct. Get a few more conduits built. I am going to wear cloth tribal wear. We are approaching the winter time. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Nick, if you could actually like just build these power conduits up. That's the last thing I I know I'm it's it's bad form to not use the work menu and instead uh simply right click to do the jobs. It's it's a sign of some inefficiency. I'll I'll give you that. But it's also unfortunately a quick shortcut uh 
to making our colony work. Now, you are going to smelt slag. We've almost exhausted our first slag pile, a sentence I'm not really comfortable saying. Um, bowl 1 has gotten food poisoning from rice. I would like it if you didn't walk over the deadfall traps. I guess we can make that area forbidden. That's a great idea, Self. Thank you. Uh, allowed area. Home. Well, no. Because I have it so, uh, they're all unrestricted. Yeah, unrestricted, which is correct. I want them to be unrestricted, but I also want them to never walk here. I don't know. I guess we'll just deal with it. Maybe a good idea that's that's better served later. Okay, I do want to, just before we finish this episode, I'm going to build a, uh, what does a lamp take to build? 15 steel, aka nothing. We're going to make this into a second workshop just because we don't need food right now. And then we need to make a decision. Uh, ground penetrating scanner or components bench. Because we only have 11 components, I think making a components bench is extremely important. So that's in production. Uh, component assembly bench. Put that down there. Takes 400 steel and 30 components on the bright side. Um, I think that's actually very doable because of the fact that we just got this uh, this ship taken care of. So, like, if we could... No, I, do, I don't want to repair the, uh, the scythers. If we could assign Doolittle to uh, work at the machining table and disassemble the mechanoids, I think we could get to um, the components we need pretty quick. So I'm going to make a quick save. And this one is like, real save, 136, up. Because that's the way we're going, man. We're going up. I do want to end this episode by saying thank you for watching and thank you for your enduring support. Uh, I am, I sincerely, and it might not sound sincere, so I'll try again. I sincerely apologize for structuring the series in such a way that you thought I was ignoring the comments. This was not my intention. Let's get back on track here. The RimWorld series may not last forever, but I'm still loving the game in contrast to the conspiracy theories out there. Um... I'm certainly not just playing it for the YouTube dollars or there'd be 10 Isaac episodes a day. But I think this is genuinely the best game or one of the best games that I've played this year. And I'm committed to seeing this colony uh, make it through. And I actually believe in our ability to get there and learn some lessons while we do so. And hopefully have some entertaining times while we double date through space. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, show your support. Clicking the like button helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.